two hot dogs and one bulgogi bake. Uh, nope, that'll be it. One problem with eating at Costco is that there's never any seats, so you're always walking around like, what do I do? One of the great things about going to Costco during lunchtime or any meal is that you can get great hot dogs that are reminiscent of the ones in back in the States. It's probably the only place you can get a really good hot dog in, in time. So. It's good? Now that we're done with lunch, we're gonna go up to the jungle. Uh, first of all, we're actually doing this video because we were requested to from a friend of a friend of mine, a high school friend of mine. And, uh, they wanted to know the differences and maybe see the similarities of what a Costco in Taiwan would be like. So, thank you for the suggestion. Every day in Taiwan Costco is like Black Friday. There's an enormous amount of people, but it must be our timing today that it's actually bearable it's still a lot of people but sometimes you're like shoulder to shoulder you can't move at all and it's just a nightmare but today it looks promising so we're gonna go check it out okay this actually is a Thursday afternoon around lunchtime and this is how many people are here so imagine on a Saturday or Sunday there's so many people it's unbelievable what makes Costco so special uh, especially even living in Taiwan is that you can find Western items here that you can't find anywhere else in the local stores that they have like potato chips or beef jerky or I know those are just some weird ones but or even English muffins you can find English muffins here what's also special about it is most often the people who more who are more affluent visit Costco because they have again Western items and it's sought at the to be more prestigious, I guess. This is so creepy. This is a good idea. Nightmares, children's nightmares come to life. These are kind of like, uh, when I was a kid growing up, uh, kind of like pillow pals. Oh, it's a pillow and a blanket. I'm standing right next to a very expensive item. Back in home, this item probably wouldn't be expensive at all. But here in Taiwan, apples are super pricey. And if you look over on my right shoulder here, there's a lady and there's people standing in line just for a taste of an apple. So, get your apples at Costco. Now what's also nice about this Costco, I'm not sure about other ones, uh, anywhere else, but I know this Costco, they will give samples of the liquor and beer and other alcoholic beverages they have here, so. And strangely enough, people love Budweiser here. This is considered an imported beer that's Like expensive. a fancy beer. Like a fancy beer, so. Very good. It's a, it's a mild red wine. So, very nice. Thank you. This apparently is where all the people are. There are a ton of people in the veg fruit, vegetable, and the produce section, and it's pretty crazy. I don't prefer to shop with this many people. It makes it really hard to look at what you want to, but Costco is really special in Taiwan because you can come here and get different styles of meat, and we usually only come here to get hamburger, ground hamburger, because most places you can't find it. These are very special. I've never seen raspberries in Taiwan, so if you see these here, you gotta grab them up. And blueberries you can find in grocery stores now, but we just bought like a really tiny little container for probably the same amount that 
same cost that this is right now. So I'm looking forward to having some blueberries and raspberries. Okay, Brussels sprouts are also special. Um, I have seen them in regular grocery stores before, but not every time. And here they have really good ones. So if you come here, we always grab some Brussels sprouts. that are special to Costco here. Um, I don't really, I've never seen bagels like this anywhere else. Or if you do buy pastries like this in Taiwan, they have a different flavor than what we're used to in America. So we've already bought bagels here just for that home taste of bagels. But the only problem is it's Costco, so you have to buy two packs. And for us, we don't really have a lot of freezer space and we can't eat this many bagels. So you kind of need to have a Costco friend that you can exchange with because they will not let you buy one bagel we tried. Do you have Costco okay. friends? Do you have to have Costco friends because you don't have freezer space? Let us know in the comments. So this guy's loading up some Japanese mochi. I don't know, maybe they have that at your Costco or maybe that's special to Asian Costco. And also they have the cakes that you can buy here, but honestly, honestly, Taiwanese bakeries make really, really beautiful and delicious cakes. So unless you need like a super large cake, um, I wouldn't specifically come to Costco for that, but maybe, maybe for Taiwanese people it's something special, I don't know. many people here take it back there is a massive amount of people here everywhere you stand you're in the way you can't move your car you can't see things it's like Black Friday on steroid and everybody is congregating in the poultry and pork and beef section here it's just so many people it's crazy <laughs> That guy's job seems like a nightmare to have to push that through all of these people every day. I can't imagine. It's crazy. It doesn't help that our cart's broken too. We have a special sushi se section. Sushi. Sushi section. You try saying that. Not only can you get Western items here in Costco, but you can also get the local Taiwanese brands as well, just in bigger bulk. is actually a brand that has adapted to Taiwanese culture so they have their own Taiwanese products and they um, try to cater to what local people want. Did you get stuck? I got stuck right here and every single cart that went by they like stopped and looked inside my cart, like, and I couldn't move, and they were just like staring at what food I was buying. It was really weird. Could it have something to do with this? people see me and they're like, "Oh, what's that white lady buying?" It's real. Look around. It was just a year ago, actually, that Mountain Dew came to Taiwan. I was very excited. So what's unique about Costco too is that you can find deli meat in Costco. You can't find deli meat anywhere. And if you do find it here in Taichung or Taiwan, it's super expensive. So it's nice to have a place where you know you're gonna find deli meat. Okay, so if you look behind me guys, this is also a rare item that you'll find in Taiwan. It's one of the few places that you can actually find cheese. 
cheese is a very sought after item, especially if you're a foreigner in Taiwan. So if you're gonna get it, get it at Costco. today our trip to Costco and we hope that you enjoyed our experience and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>